it's Katie with Hill Country Hands. Welcome back to my channel. Today is my 31 week update with my pregnancy with hyperemesis and a pick line. We are on the way to the doctor's office right now. I'm going every two weeks at this point in my pregnancy, so we're just headed to the doctor's office. Justin still is unable to come in, which is okay, we understand. Uh, he's just gonna wait for me in the car. Just that way I didn't have to drive by myself because the doctor is about like 40 minutes, 45 minutes away from our house. So he just wanted to come drive me and be there for me if he needs to be. The doctor's office did call me yesterday afternoon and tell me that I do need to wear a mask to come into the doctor's office from now on, I guess to protect the workers and the other patients. Um, and she said that I really just should be wearing a mask like anywhere I go in public right now since I am pregnant. I hadn't been wearing a mask. I mean, not that I've gone really very many places, but I hadn't, I haven't worn a mask yet in public. I know masks are kind of hard to come by. My mom and dad did order some off of like eBay, but they're not gonna be in for a little while. I do get a mask in each of my dressing, like cleaning kits for my pick that the nurse never wears the masks. So I've been saving those since all this has been going on and she does clean my pick two to three times a week, so I do have a handful that I have. So I will be wearing a mask. I'm not taking them from health professions. My husband and I do work in the hospital. Obviously, I've been out of work with my hyperemesis since November. You know, he has continued to work through all of this that's going on, but I will be wearing a mask today. Anyway, we are headed to the doctor's office right now, and Coffee. Justin just got in with some coffee for us. We will see how the doctor's appointment goes. Okay, so I just got back in the car from my doctor's appointment. We stopped for gas real quick, so Justin's pumping gas. But it ended up being a pretty long doctor's appointment. I didn't expect us to do a scan today, but she did the baby's heart rate and then my belly and was concerned that it was measuring a little bit small. She said that the measurements for my belly was I guess like 28 weeks but I'm supposed to be 31 weeks so she wanted to do a growth scan um, which made me kind of nervous just because you're always worried that you know what if something's wrong but she's just being cautious so I had to wait about an hour to be fit in to get the sonogram done and the sonogram was really good. The baby's still measuring like about a week early. They aren't underweight or underdeveloped like she was a little bit concerned about. She checked like my placenta, it's still growing, the fluids to make sure that um, I had enough fluid and the baby's stomach. I guess that's something that they kind of worry about whenever your belly is measuring a little bit on the smaller side. She said that it could just be the way the baby's like scrunched up in there or it could just be my body type but I'm glad that she's being on the cautious side with me but it did have me a little bit worried. I was able to come down to the truck and sit with Justin for a little while while I waited which was nice. Baby is measuring uh, 56 on the 56th percentile. Last time it was 58 one from two weeks ago uh, they said it's gonna vary a little bit but that's still good and we just have to go back for an appointment in about two weeks and she just said keep up with doing everything that we're doing still so the continuous sofran the finagrin every couple hours the fluids is needed and I talked to her about like the having more frequently the Braxton Hicks than I did with McKenzie and it just being kind of early. She just said that that's that's normal. You know, it may mean that baby's going to come a little bit early, but not to worry about it. Like it's probably nothing just to let her know if anything changes. So I felt much better after our appointment. It just kind of threw me off at first because I really wasn't expecting her to possibly have a concern about something and then I wasn't expecting to get another scan done because we just got a scan done two weeks ago. So I was a little bit emotional and a little bit worried there while I was having to wait for the scan but I feel much better now. I'm so thankful that 
the baby is okay and it's it's good to get more scans just to be reassured that everything is okay you always wonder but he or she is very active always kicking so I feel like I feel like they're doing good in there originally we were gonna maybe pay to get the 4d 3d 4d sonogram done but with everything going on uh, we decided not to and then especially since Justin can't join me on the sonograms but the sonogram lady was nice enough today to take some pictures and I was super excited last time she tried to do the 3d 3d 4d I don't know what it is honestly the 3d 4d and the baby kept putting their hands in front of like the face so we couldn't really see but so cute there's a couple that are pretty good I don't know if you can tell with the camera exposure he she looks so much like our daughter Mackenzie and it just it made my day that that um, the sonogram tech took the time to get these for us so that we could see the little baby's face so that wraps up my week 31 pregnancy update with hyperemesis it is been a pretty good week feeling about the same emotionally feeling better than I was a few weeks ago still just kind of at peace with everything that's going on and I'm just trusting in God and trusting that everything is going to work out and everything is out of my control anyway so I'm trying to just stay positive and try to stay relaxed. Mackenzie and I have been having super bad allergies for the last week with all the pollen that's falling from the trees. We have pollen like all over our porch and cars and it's just that time of year. And then my allergies are always worse with the pressure change with the weather. It's been raining for about a week almost. So we've been struggling with that, which makes it a little bit harder whenever I'm already not feeling good. Really bad allergies on top of that. But we're getting through it and just taking it day by day. I'm continuing to do new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.